In the spring of 1927, Beatrix Potter joined in the National Trust campaign to rescue Cockshot Point from town development. It was a particularly lovely historic strip of land that jutted out into Windermere near the ferry. When the fundraising was in danger of falling short, Beatrix had the idea of perhaps readers of the Horn Book and other American friends who seemed fond of Peter Rabbit might like to contribute to the Windermere Fund. Ever since she had responded to Bertha Mahoney's request for autographical information, Beatrix Potter had been reading the Horn Book which remained much to her liking. The journal was fresh, and the journal exhibited good sense in its efforts to educate the public about books for children. Beatrix applauded Mahoney's efforts to improve. Her scheme was to offer 50 original autographed drawings copied from four of the illustrations for sale for a guinea. She sent the packet of paintings along with a letter with an engaging appeal by Peter Rabbit. The letter appeared along with the color plate as a sample of one of the watercolors. Mahoney displayed the drawings in the windows of the bookshop horn book readers and the bookshop for boys and girls. Customers lined up to pay $5 for an original potter. The drawings helped save a bit of the English countryside. By November 1927, Beatrix Potter was able to report to her friends from Boston that the appeal had been successful. It is pleasant to know that New Englanders value the old country. The land was safely purchased and a dry gravel path is being made in the bank of the lake. And I would like to read the letter that Beatrix wrote to Miss Bertha Mahoney on May 21st, 1927. Some months ago, the Horn books contained a paragraph of relating how the writer and illustrator of Peter Rabbit books lived in the district of Westmoreland Lakes in the north of England. Peter is not begging for himself. He is offering something. Beatrix Potter has very much at heart an appeal to raise a fund to save a strip of foreshore woodland and meadow near Windermere Ferry from imminent risk of disfigurement from building and town extension. So many kind Americans have come to the Lake District on their tour and ask a Peter Rabbit, do you think any of them would give a guinea to help this fund in return for an autographed drawing? Alas, so many of our heirlooms, our pictures, our ancient books, even our old timber homes are crossing the Atlantic. Would the American friends help save a bit of our scenery? It is only a half a mile of lake frontage, but is right in the middle of the most beautiful part of Windermere, and it's near our home. Yours sincerely, Beatrix Potter. Here is another wonderful example of Beatrix Potter's land preservation.